Watching a master at work, 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 work. <laughs> So you wanna be owner operator, huh? You want a fleet? That's what you want, huh? Well check this out. That's why you out of here. It's unbelievable, man. Uh -uh. I'll show you. Don't say a word about that. Right? <clears throat> That tire fucked up, that tire fucked up. I told him, get your little money, he gonna leave it right there and shit. <laughs> he probably got about $150 there, but he said, I can't do nothing with that, stupid. Take it to fucking Walmart, man, dump it in the change machine. Every time it gets empty, he just dumps his seals all over the place. I'm almost certain that he did this somewhere. Look at this. He just saw that today, he said. He just saw it today. What is it? I'll Google on that. Four blowouts in two weeks, back to back, on the same act, same two back here. But that's something else. But it's a damn shame. He doesn't look under his truck. Nothing. He don't check anything. He doesn't say I need a washout so the trailer be clean. Nothing. Nothing. And it's a damn shame, man, that this dude with this truck. Wonder why he ain't got one. Said it just got dirty. Yeah, he just throws shit all over the place. Gave him that a couple months ago, and then he ain't never open it. But anyway, um, gonna let him ride. So we're topping it off at the transmission shop. 
You see how dirty it is, right? Forget that red, but oh, he been had this problem. He ain't say nothing about that. We just drive around here. Yeah. Just look at this thing. I don't know what he spilled down there. Or what? I cleaned it. It just got dirty. He said. Had that bull crap looking registration sitting up in the window for months. I told him to get it out of there. But we're bringing it in because the transmission messed up. Got new, new tires, right? Had two, four blowouts. Two, two on this side, two on this side. Michelin's except for that one. He's taking it in. He told me to leave it park right here and he'll take it in. Listen at it. Listen at it. Hurting. Y'all want to get paid good though. He can't even get in gear. But y'all want to get paid good. Listen at, my, listen at my truck man. Listen at it. Y'all want to get paid good. Oh, you should see the reefer. Where they pay good money at? That's the cash press. Look what they done there, right there. Look at that. He don't know how that got there. Barely. Damn shame, man. Where they pay good money at? You can average out about 60 cents a mile, a little over. Everybody want a paycheck, though. But they can't keep that shit clean. And they can't tell you when shit is messed up. Now, they tell me when the transmission part was messed up. But what is this the fuel thing? Don't tell me it just happened. All these fucking drives always tell you, or oh, it just happened. No, it didn't just happen. It been like that. Boy, I tell you, these drivers, man. And gave the driver plenty of opportunities to be successful. He even thought about leasing a truck. No, see, you can't lease people with trucks like that. You see what they do? Lease. This driver was at Snyder one time. He had a Snyder finance truck. Do you see that right there? That's why you don't have a Snyder finance truck. That, that's that's terrible, man. What do you do with shit like that? There it is. It's over there. It's uh, nice and clean. You know, new tires on it. What I got to get, I forgot all about. I got to get one of those, man. They're about $150 I found on Amazon or eBay. But I got the old version on this trailer. This is the oldest trailer out of the group. Of trailers that I got is uh, one of the more quieter ones, though. They should be almost done with my ass. I came in here four hours early, they put me right in the door. But we got the new wheels in the back, got it all cleaned up, man. Do a little TLC in South Carolina. I'm gonna drop it off over there. And uh, I don't know, man, people just. Don't give a shit. But just imagine, right? If I just took the time and said, you know what, I ain't even gonna pay this motherfucker for two weeks. You know, if you see some of the shit that some of these guys do, oh, your phone will be ringing. They'll be hitting you up. All kinds of shit. But this is the kind of dumb shit that happens. And people always say, yo, yo, leak, man. Cause they, they don't have trucks. I don't, don't want to say that. They don't have multiple trucks and trailers and stuff. They don't deal with multiple drivers. Like, yo, leak, where you get the where you get these dudes from? I'm not saying I get them from them. But They come from these places. 
JB Hunt, the Stephen, the Covenant, the Southern SRTs, they cut Grimes and Snyder, you know, Warner, some mom and pop company somewhere. Doesn't matter, man. We can sit down and talk and have a conversation and check your files and yeah, shit. Well, uh, he ain't got no tickets, but he probably did have tickets and just happened to beat him in court or whatever. I don't get to see his last truck that he drove, nothing like that, you know. So you don't get to see that. You don't really, really know these people. So basically, you're taking a chance on anybody that's driving your shit. And, um, you don't know really anything about them. I don't care what anybody says. You don't know shit about these people. Unless you grew up with this fucker. And they can still change on you at the end of the day, too. Um, they can start off great and they'll turn to shit. They can be a piece of shit out the gate. They might tighten up. You never know. You have them like this and tearing up shit. Hit some shit with the bumper. I don't know how the fuck that got there. That wasn't there. Um, I, I don't even know how the shit got there. He should know how it got there. He's the driver, right? Damn trailer dinged up here and there. Damn tires balled the play six times six two brakes the brakes that don't they don't, they don't count the tires yes how do you ride around wait I'm you're not even aware of the 72 hour roadside blitz anything going on in the United States Fuck it, I'm just riding around and shit. Way station's open, they cooking niggas up. Now I'm just riding around and shit. I'm shocked he hasn't been caught. I'm glad he didn't get caught. And I went through some other things and I was looking at some other things. You gotta go, amigo. Cause you're gonna be in a situation where get in a crash, run over somebody, and you hear me throwing rants, I'll be pissed off at people in traffic, and stuff like that, or whatever, that's different than when you just don't give a shit, shit going down the road, and shit all fucked up, you got leaky shit, and fucking air leaking bad, and fucking damn tires bald, and then you come up on some shit, let's say it's raining, you try to stop, you can't stop, you run over some people, now they gonna come holler at me. Now they gonna take all my shit, take my fucking house, whatever, you know, all, whatever they can get their hands on. Uh, Cause these lawyers is out for the millions, right? And not everybody got millions. So, that's why you had to cut the, the dude loose, man. When you are unaware and clueless and also don't give a fuck about anything, I can go further, but I'm not going to go any further. You know, and talk cash money shit. Uh, I mean, you're going to leave. You're going to leave. You're going to get a car. You're going to get a rental car. Okay, get your rental car. Now you're crying the next day. Asking, can I settle you out and pay for a rental car for you? Are you fucking crazy? Do you see what you did to my truck? and trailer. Do you think I'm going to take an American Express or a Capital One or a Chase card or whatever and swipe it with my fucking name on it and then put you in the car and then you just go down the road and fuck the car up? Are you fucking kidding me? You have not earned that kind of respect from me whatsoever. There's only one driver that did earn that kind of respect from me and he fucked that up at the end. Um, 
and I gave him the offer, and he fucked that up. So like I said, it doesn't matter. One way or the other, it's gonna be some bullshit. And most of it's unnecessary, uncalled for bullshit. I mean, this guy's just like, yep, things happen, shit happens. I mean, just like that. Well, yeah, things happen. You gotta get the fuck out of here. Matter of fact, you quit. Because after I made a statement, you found out you quit. But as far as I'm concerned, he's going anyway. Yeah, you can't. I said, like, you don't, you never know these motherfuckers, man. You have motherfuckers down like this. Whole fucking thousand miles. There's two different codes on there that I seen. That's 81, I think it was like a 96 or a 94. You have a motherfucker running cross country with a load like that. You know what they'll say? I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know anything. It didn't tell me nothing. And the way these companies got these things set up nowadays, where they can communicate straight into the trunk to the walk on, and the motherfuckers still don't know. We got drivers out here driving over there, 11, 14, 30, constantly. Constantly. They ain't, it's not even by accident. You got dump drivers like that. Because it's gonna cost you a lot of money at the end of the day when they get into some shit. They're always on Facebook. Shit. Seeing who's paying the most money. But they always, and you know, it always costing people money. And it's always the motherfuckers. Always the motherfuckers. That's fucking your shit up, tearing your shit up. You might not even know it like that scenario. But the truck always gotta go to the shop or something. And that's the motherfucker that ain't productive, but that truck always is something. That truck costs you the most money. These are the things, man. Y'all gotta be ready, man. But anyway, she good now. So I'm gonna be riding around with that in a ride for about a week or two. And then that's it. I got some new drivers, man, ready to go. Um, and they'll be taking them trucks. And I'll be out there buying probably a Freightliner Cascadia. Yeah, Freightliner Cascadia. But I want a 13 speed. And I'm gonna park you again. And what I'm going to do is buy a new engine and drop it in there. <coughs> and then probably give somebody the Cascadia. But, you know, all at a slow pace. All at a slow pace. I had to officially switch my truck number. I didn't switch it. But I switched it. And, um, <laughs> been running around that old number for a minute. I had to take that off. But anyway, man, um, Y'all want to be fleet owners. Y'all want to buy a truck. You, you, you can't run a truck and have a trailer fucked up. So anyway, this light better turn green because I'm ready to get gone. See y'all later.